Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to be downloading material from Polygon.com, bringing it into Cinema 4D using our material converter, and then rendering it out with Octane. Before we get started though, let's take a look at the files we'll be needing during this video. We're going to need the wood flooring 044 material, and the Polygon material converter add-on for Cinema 4D. Both of these I already have saved to my hard drive, um, and I'll include a link to them below the video. Okay, let's head over to Cinema 4D. So this is the scene that we'll be uh, working on today. Very simple scene, just a plane for our floor material to get assigned to, a sky dome with a HDR, and I'll be using the perspective camera as our rendering view. So, almost good to get going. First thing we need to do though is install our material converter. Now I've already got mine installed underneath the plugins folder here, but let's walk you through the process of doing that yourself. Um, once you've downloaded the zip folder, unzip it to a folder on your hard drive anywhere it doesn't, it doesn't matter where, uh, mine's on the desktop. Once you've done that, go to the script window, oh, sorry, script menu, then user scripts and run script. And then navigate to where you put your folder. As I said, mine's on the desktop. And within that, you'll see the installer polygon material converter.py file. Open that. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, you'll be presented with a message saying that the installed, the converter has been installed um, and that you need to restart. I don't need to restart though because, uh, yeah, I've already got it installed. <laughs> um, now, let's talk about using the converter. There's a few options uh, to go through. The first one is the textures folder. And this is where you tell the converter where it is on your hard drive that your polygon materials are stored. Now, in my case, they are here. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of different materials. Um, and what I could do is just select that root folder and the converter would bring them all into Cinema 4D and then you could assign the materials at will to the different parts of your scene. What I'm going to do though is just select the specific material that it is we're working on today, which is wood flooring 044, and hit OK on that. And now the converter is saying one material was found, which is, uh, which is good. Next option is the renderer. Now, uh, the converter will automatically uh, assign the appropriate render here. It, it will look at your scene settings, figure out what you're rendering with and fill that in for you. But if you do need to change it, just click on the drop down and uh, yeah, select the one you need. You can also get active um, and it will do that again for you. Um, underneath that is the advanced settings. You won't need to touch those for the vast majority of cases. I'm not going to today. I'm just going to hit on convert. And you'll see down the bottom left, we have our wooden floor material. So good. Now to assign it to the floor plane, you literally just drag and drop, like so. And you can just a bit, it's not a particularly high quality preview, but you can you can see how that's going to be mapped to your, uh, to your object once you do that. And I can tell from here that the tiling is a little bit off, so we're gonna make a quick adjustment here to the tiles. I'm gonna set mine up to two. Uh, and yeah, that just looks a little bit better. So at this point, it's time to take a look at what's going on um, and see if it's working. So I'm gonna click on the Optane button and then the Live Viewer window. Once that comes up, click on the little Optane logo at the top left and yeah, you'll be presented with the render. And straight off, it's looking pretty good. Um, we can tell the converter's done its job and brought everything in properly. Um, the only thing I would say here is the reflections are a little bit off. If you compare the render result we've got here to the reference images on our website, the reflections are a little bit blurred, uh, not, not quite as shiny as we would like. So let's have a look at making a slight adjustment to our gloss map to, to fix that problem. To do that, I'm going to double click on the material and then click on Node Editor and this will let us see exactly what it is that the material converter has done. There we go. And you can see it's brought in all the all the appropriate maps and whatnot and connected them up. Um, so as I mentioned, it's the gloss map that we'll be working on. So I'm going to drag that uh, normal map out of the way and so we've got a bit of room to work around our gloss map. I'm also creating more room actually for the next video um, where we'll be going into a bit more detail with this gloss map. Uh, but anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. So we're gonna bring in two nodes, okay? I'm gonna bring in a multiply node. Now a multiply uh, operator basically multiplies the, the input texture. Now 
this is a gloss map but it's been inverted um, as you can see by this little tick here which uh, makes it a roughness map which is because it's a roughness map that octane uh, is expected not a gloss one and a multiplier is a really good way of adjusting the strength of a, uh, of a roughness map so let's connect that up like so and then you see here we now have this input okay now if I just click on that and go to octane hmm where's it hiding in fact the easiest way I'm just going to type it in <laughs> we're going to use a float value okay and then plug that into texture 2 there we go I'm going to name this float value to be uh, roughness if I can remember how to type uh, just okay now with that in place we now have a way to multiply our texture now if you multiply something by one you don't change it five times one is five etc um, if you multiply something by zero the outputs always zero okay so with this at zero it would completely cancel out the roughness map which means that it would be a perfectly smooth surface so you'd, in effect it would be a like a mirror like material um, with this value set to one it would have no effect whatsoever and we'd, we'd have the render that we were already looking at which I'm actually going to bring back at this point Let's load up our little because there yeah It'd be a bit easier to demonstrate what I'm talking about wouldn't it so yeah with this down at zero you see the reflection goes almost mirror like and then back up here is exactly how it was before now what we want is a value of about 0.7 or so so not a huge difference from the original render but just just a slightly shinier looking floor and uh, yeah that's all we need to do today I'd say we're getting a, a nice result there so in summary we've taken a material from polygon.com brought it into cinema 4d using our material converter used a multiply operator to make a slight adjustment to our roughness map uh, and then rendered it out with Octane.